Welcome back, everyone. Hope you're doing well. We've got a lot going on in our weather. We also had a beautiful sunset here in the capital city. We're seeing temperatures that are in those lower to mid-60s for us across the southern tier of Wyoming. We've got a little bit of that southeast wind coming in. That's going to bring some humidity. That's going to bring our humidity up, and it's going to be pleasant for us. For us in central Wyoming, we have a northerly wind. That's bringing dry air in and that's going to uh, get acquainted with some of that warm air tomorrow right around the uh, central portions and eastern portions of Wyoming. We have a few of these storms that are tracking across Wyoming now, but mostly what we're seeing is threatening sky. We're not getting a lot of rain, and any rain that is coming out of these clouds is evaporating before it hits the ground. For us tonight, we'll be in those mid-50s. For us in Torrington, Wheatland, Cheyenne, we're going to call in at 52. For us in Casper, we'll call in at 51. Warland going to be in those mid-50s, and we're going to see a lot of that mix of 50s across the state. A little cooler across the uh, western sections of Wyoming, west of the divide. Same with us tomorrow. We'll be in those lower 70s in Yellowstone, where we're going to see some of those upper 80s for us in central Wyoming. So that dry air is going to warm up quickly, and it's going to be headed toward the south, and that southern air is going to come up, and maybe we'll get a shower as we get through the heating of the afternoon, or maybe just a little bit before. And I think that's probably the case for us in the capital city, where we'll get a little bit of a shower in the uh, late afternoon hours, early evening, and then it's going to clear out and to be fairly pleasant for us if you're headed out to the depot for the last session there. For us in Casper, if you're headed to Davis Street Station, you got something going on, looks like we've got some fairly nice conditions. It'll be great to be out and about downtown or anywhere across the area. We do have some fire weather that is going to repeat itself as we get through the day tomorrow. We're going to see some of those uh, upper... Uh, uh, 80s and we'll see some of those conditions that are really going to kick in as we get through the uh, late afternoon. Now these are the active fires in Wyoming now. We're not under a red flag warning this evening. We've had some humidity come up. We've had some uh, temperatures cool down and that has helped us with some fire fighting uh, capability. But we still have these active fires that are going to affect us. That means we're going to get some smoke from these fires and some of that is headed to the south. Some of it is going up to the uh, north. So depending on your location, you may or may not have some smoke around your area. We're going to be in the upper 80s for us in Casper tomorrow. It's going to hold in the those 80s and 90s over the weekend. We'll also see some of those 80s for us in Cheyenne. Sunday looks like it's going to be a warmer day and nicer day into the uh, latter part of the Labor Day weekend. And for us in Scotts Bluff, Nebraska, we'll see some of those clouds try to build in. We'll have mid-80s and mid-90s for the next couple of days. Laramie looks like our extended forecast is going to be on the more mild side, and we may get some clouds that will build in just a little bit. And for those of you that don't have this uh, Storm Tracker weather app, download it so you can get the latest in weather. We're going to take a break now. We'll come back to sports, so stay with us.